oxygenation plus six minutes. Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. into unconsciousness, I could somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister, almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. 
In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we're stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late. I thought you were gonna watch TV. Ah, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. afraid to cook those babies. Dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you pack. into us. Hey, it's a TV jacker. I love this guy. Just got word that the feds dropped some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars wrote in the corporate media tell us that we're gonna get our fair share, that more is coming. <laughs> That's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this hellhole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned and no one's coming to save us. So head over to Archer Square and get that food before the Reapers show up. Voice of Survival, out. Told you they dropped food. Man, you must be out of your mind. Think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from pigging out, though, is it? <laughs> Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Ah, oh, man. Get to have all the fun. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Yeah, that sucks donkey balls. Hey, Cole, before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six-shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> the look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. 
Come on! Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big, sloppy slice, dripping with grease and pepperoni. And payday. Having a big, fat wad. Bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's and I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> you pissed all over him. Hey, he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome. <laughs> Ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. Ah, oh, come on! He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. Hell, I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me neither. There was this surge. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Trained all of a sudden. Hang on a sec. Did you see that? Man, you're a walking battery. You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me, almost like I'm being healed by it. Oh, this rock's so hard. Come on, let's haul tail over to Archer Square before someone takes all the brewskis. Cole, you there? Hey, babe. You hear they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. stuck up there. I hate to say it, pal, but, uh, hey, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. That's where I caught my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. Freaks are brutal! Hi there. 
us for weeks, maybe longer. Bet if I fry a couple people in the crowd, the rest will run away. The food will be all ours, but some of these guys might starve. was harsh. Still, it'll keep us in vittles for a long time. Now get this hauled out of here pronto. Hey, Trish. What's wrong with you? People are starving and you're stealing the only food they've seen in days? I did it for us. To make sure we're taken care of. I don't get you sometimes. Take a look at this, Sapphire City. The product you're seeing was taken by a security camera near the Hey, Cole! Zero. You're if up on the big screen! Our city, our lives. Someone from your family died? Well, now you know who took the way. If you know anything about this guy, let me know. Because we got to get the word out on this terrorist. Whoever he is, we're going to make him pay. Ever been called a terrorist? All I remember from that day is going to work and then running for my life. That video, though. How'd I get that package? Why would I deliver a bomb? Ooh. Regardless, the consequences are everywhere. Whatever there'd been between Trish and me was gone. She didn't say a word, no emotion, nothing, just walked away. By then, people nearby were starting to recognize me. It was gonna get ugly. Even Zeke was giving me weird looks. He and I made quick plans to meet up at Stampton Bridge. Try to get out of town, just hope he shows. It's right now. I'm a little short on friends.
ground zero. A lot of kids over there freezing around. If you got something to spare, take it over there. Those kids need it more than you do. And just because you haven't gotten your kids clothes doesn't get you off the hook. Give whatever you got. A kid that's cold and scared doesn't care if his clothes fit or not. He just wants to be warm. And it looks like the feds are tightening the screws. I can't at least five ships dropping mines in the harbor and two more blocking the harbor engines with scrap metal. We're not going anywhere, folks. Might as well do whatever you can to get comfortable. Voice of survival, out. town. That is, if you can get us past those baton-wielding goons. We're getting out of here, one way or another. Follow my lead. You have entered a restricted area. Lethal force may be used at any time. Gonna have to get past those riot cops if we want out of here. 
If I fry a couple of the guards from inside the crowd, but I can trigger a riot, help keep the heat off Zeke and me. Of course, that means a lot of innocent people will get the hell kicked out of them. I can't take it! Let's take them down! Zeke made a break for it. 
smashed in the gate to the decontamination unit and fell headlong to the harbor. And I moved, faster than I knew I could. I was greeted by name. This FBI agent, Moya, had seen the footage of me at Ground Zero and came here to wait, figuring I'd try to escape, knowing I'd have powers. She explained that before the blast, her husband, John, had been assigned to infiltrate the First Sons, a shadowy group working on a project they called the Ray Sphere, a device designed to drain the neuroelectric energy from a group of people and concentrate it into an individual. She'd lost contact with John the night of the blast. Despite all her connections, Moya was losing hope. Yet she'd found me, somehow believing I could be trusted ready to make me an offer. I go back to the city, find John in the Ray Sphere, and she'll get me out of the quarantine and clear my name. This whole Ray Sphere thing sounds crazy to me. Suddenly I'm a human white socket, so maybe I should cut her some slack. Because of the riot topside, this is the only way back into the city. Given the state of our new partnership, I've taken the liberty of cloning your phone's frequency. I've got a lock on your GPS locator, and I can hear every word you say. That's super. Water pressure has dropped in the main running under the bridge. What's going on down there? Reapers are busting up some pipes. Interesting. I'll see what I can find out. You worry about getting back into the city.
Don't forget who's holding your leash, Cole. You find John and the race sphere, and I get you out of there. No questions asked. If you double-cross me or do something stupid, then I will throw you into a hole so deep that you won't even know which way is up. Got it? Nice work on that gate, Wrecking Ball. Yeah, I'll live through the fall, no problem. But, uh, getting back to shore? Well, let's just say I'm no Michael Phelps. Yeah, that's an understatement. Hey, take it easy, Lightning Rod. So, uh, how the hell'd you live through that, man? Bullets flying everywhere, all over the place? Figured you were a goner. Let's head home. I'll fill you in on the way. And it drains neuroelectric energy. Oh, I knew it! All the stuff I've been saying, every word is true. Government's in cahoots with a secret organization. The race sphere. Damn, it all makes sense now. Calm down, you're gonna hurt yourself. That race sphere will dish out powers to anyone controlling it. You gotta bring it back here. Sure, I could use a sidekick. Ah, hell with that. Zeke Jedediah Dunbar is his own man. Your middle name is Jedediah? Yes, it is. After my grandfather. Strong man for a man his size. Uh, I don't know where Zeke comes from, but uh, I'm certain... You need to take a nap and a bath. I got things to do. I've already got a couple of leads for you. The coordinates have been uploaded into your phone. Give me a call when you're in position. 